Welcome back to Dirty Water Coins and Collectibles. Today I stopped off at a random Bank of America. I asked if they had half dollars and or large dollars. I usually bring an Eisenhower with me. And lo and behold, this time around, they did. I think I have, I want to say over $30 in the large... Eisenhower dollars. I can't remember how many I have in half dollars, but I know that there's silver in the half dollars. <clears throat> I didn't see anything in the dollars. Let me dump this out and uh, let's take a peek as to what we have here. There's silver right there. I feel more in here. It. Okay, so we definitely have some Let's get our I'm trying to see if there's any more. Go some right here. And I think that was it. So we definitely have a few. One, two, three, four, maybe eight. Maybe eight silvers. <clears throat> Let's see. 1968 out of Denver. No 83. <clears throat> 68 out of Denver. 67 out of Philly. 68 out of Denver. 84. 68, 68, another 68, 67, 71, 72, 94, 79, 76, and an 81. So we got... Eight. Eight silvers. That's awesome. <clears throat> I knew I had silver, but I didn't know how many and what the years were. So we had all 67s and 68s. Now let me get into all of the Eisenhowers. Let me get these separated and I'll be right back. All right, so 28 of those were Type 2 Bicentennials. So right now I have four 1971s, and we'll look for any kind of die clashing, errors, um, peg legs, DDOs or DDRs. I'm not seeing anything here. I think the Happy Eagle's only on the 71D, if I remember correctly. So I don't see anything on that one. Number two, what just happened there? I don't see anything there. Nope, nothing there. So E pluribus looks a little thicker. So that's a maybe. I'll hold that aside as a possibility. Number three. Don't see anything out of the ordinary. This one's dirty. Nothing there. 
So that E pluribus looks around the same thickness. So the first one is probably nothing. Let me check this one again. Yeah, I think they're all about the same size. All right, this is the fourth, nineteen seventy-one. Not see anything there, and nothing there. Okay, seventy ones are checked. We have one seventy one D. Nothing. All right, I think I ran out of storage, but that one did not have a peg leg. And this here is like the type three. So see how the islands are more to the left of Florida. You have more of a stronger strike in uh, the United States. So that one, I believe, was the type three. I have nothing here. Nothing there. Type one, I'm not seeing anything there. This one and one more left. Nothing there. Nothing there. Type one, no doubling. I don't see anything. Okay, last one for the 72. Nope. And nope. And a type three. All right, type two is very difficult to find. Okay, so there's the 72s. I have two 72 Ds. Let's see what we got, in, if anything, here in terms of clashing. There will be no different reverses on this one. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. Nope. Oof. That one has seen better days. Yikes. Okay, nothing there. I have a 74D. I will just check for any kind of errors. I don't see anything there. Nothing there. Nope. Okay, 77. Negative. Nothing there. And a 78D. Not seeing any mint mark issues. Nothing going on here. Normal R. Nothing jumping out at me. So nothing there. Let's check the silvers. For any kind of variety, 67. I don't see anything. Nope. Anything on the reverse. Check on the stars. See if the stars have any kind of doubling. Nothing on that one. I don't see anything there. 
Nothing in the chin. No. Nope. Okay. 68s. Nothing out of the ordinary. I don't think that there was a reverse on the 68s. It looks like there's a little bit of doubling in the W here. That just it, it could be normal. I'm not really seeing too much of anything. No. Not looking at anything there. Nope. Negative. Mint mark looks good. I'm not seeing anything. Two more sixty eights after this. I'm just happy I find silver. I don't usually get them in the half dollar boxes. That's why I haven't really hunted any. So every now and then I'll get lucky with teller pickups. Oh, I'm all right with that. And I got rid of a lot of my 68s to get that uh, proof dime with no S. So I got some more back. These will go into the 2024 jar. I'm not seeing any kind of uh, variety. Uh, all right. All right, I'll be right back. Well, that's our hunt for our Eisenhowers and Kennedys. We did get eight silvers, so I'm happy with that. Unfortunately, nothing really with the, the Ikes. I do have about 10 of the Bicentennials, the Type 2, with some cool toning. You can't really tell. It's like kind of purpley. Uh, you can kind of see it there. They all have some toning to them. Yeah, you can kind of see it in here. So I had... Held the 10 aside. We'll see um, if I keep them all. And unfortunately, in here, we really got nothing. But we did get some Eisenhowers, which is always fun to hunt. And two 1967 Kennedys, 40% silver. Six 1968s, 40% silver. And those will be going in the jar. So I hope you enjoyed this hunt. Again, we didn't really find much, but... We had a Kennedy and Eisenhower hunt. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell. See you on the next one.